As soon as we have learned how to do multiple alignment and how to generate good quality publication quality multiple align file using BioNet. So today we will learn with that same file. So here we have all the sequence from different species. Now suppose this is our species. We have sequenced this uh, species that is Carius Magu. So we have our amino acid sequence with us. Then we have done blast. Then we got all the other sequence from other species, closely related species we have taken, some species, three species, and we have taken two output that is mouse and human for the same gene. So the, what are the gene? What for the gene? It is the IGF A this is like a vector acid level subject. We have discussed a little bit in our multiple alignment video. Okay. So today we are going to learn how, to, how we can make phylogenetic tree for our manuscript using this type of graph. So we'll do it using Mega software. For that, we uh, I have Mega 7. For that, first, that same alignment file that we have done for previous day using so making phylogenetic tree here in mega first we have to do the multiple alignment okay and that file also uh, if we save that file in uh, bioedit the multiple alignment file that one also we can use but here we are going to learn how to do multiple alignment in mega also then how to use that file for making phylogenetic tree what you have to do for that first you open your software then go to you have to here you can see here it is written alignment we will press that and we press build alignment so here options will come we want to uh, introduce our previously sequenced data or it is already set data the alignment session or we have to create a new alignment. So here we are learning how to do alignment. So I have selected this one. Then we'll press OK. So our sequence is protein. If you have DNA, so you can use DNA also. Now, now this tab will open. Now from this, we we'll go to the data program. Then from there, we'll go to edit. From there, we'll go to the insert sequence from file. We have file, you know. Okay. So we have to go to the locations. You can see under this terrain program, we have file. So we'll open that. The same file open. So in Mega, you'll see when you select the sequence, one extra sequence will come, always. OK, so you have to do, what you have to do, you have to delete the sequence. Just press right click and delete the sequence. Now we have to select all the sequence. This way you can do or you can simply press Control A. So it will select all the sequence. Now we conduct our multiple alignment. There are different options we can select, but uh, we will try to using cluster omega. So select that. Then you can see there are and many options like uh, gap opening penalty, extension penalty, penalty, all these things you can keep all the uh, parameters in default. Okay, then press OK. Then it will make the alignment file. Yes, like the previous uh, video, also you can see this alignment file. So this you can do using BioDit also using Mega also. So this task, what is the meaning of this task? This task means all the sequence are same for all species. So these are the gaps you can see. Stars, all the stars means there is highly conserved part of that sequence. So now what you have to do, you have to simply, it's 
export this alignment file. So for that, you can go to data, then export. You have to export in meta format for making parallelic tree. Okay. So save it in meta format. Then you have to where you want to select, you have to select the folder like training. I have already set this. Okay. So you can select this and again you can save it. Okay. As it is already set in the same name, then alignment file. So you can cancel out. So for you, you have to set it. Okay. So now we have our file. Now we have our alignment file. Okay. So now we have to make. So let's uh, save it. Okay. It will show it is already available. So we can select alignment to also like that. Any name you can give. Okay. The path does not exist. You have to um, properly you have to select then from here you have training. Then element two is like then you keep some name I G F A L S two suppose. Then this way you have to select. Now if you open that folder, if, if you open that folder, you will see this is our uh, element file in mega format is saved. This much is clear. After we avoid F2, you can close this one. So now we have to make parallelic tree. So you have to go to the uh, this previous space. So that is uh, previously we opened the make. Okay, during alignment time. Okay, you can. So now you can see here we have option phylogeny. So you have to select that. And there are many options you can uh, use for making your entry. Generally, for publication purpose, we are using never joining tree for the you have to select. Then you have to go to the folder, you have to select your sequence, that multiple aligned sequence that is uh, that you have saved. So it is uh, you have to open now, it is opening. So all the things are uh, so here you can see your data is open in this. Uh, program again. So now we have to make parallelic tree. There are different parameters like loop, this uh, bootstrap method. Okay, what is the bootstrap you want to select this value? You can change from here. Generally, for publication purpose, we are using uh, thousands bootstrap value. And then this is uh, defined the model which model you want to use. Generally, we use this person model and all other things you can. If uh, just uh, default, okay, and select OK. So now you can see your phylogenetic tree is preparing. Okay, now you can see this phylogenetic tree. So this is your this is your scale, and this is your uh, phylogenetic tree, and all the spaces is given. So using this all these uh, different uh, parameters, different uh, Options you can modify your tree and make it more beautiful for your publication. Suppose for layout, and then go to the layout from here, you can change the width of the tree. So let's change it, it's looking good now. Okay. So, same way, you can change the height also. And this, uh, so now it is looking good. You can see. So from here you can size, you can change the font size also, or font style. Okay, so you can give this value also. You can see it's coming like that. Distance from the node, node means this is the point. So where you have to keep all the value. So that is also important. So depend on your needs, your requirements, you can change it accordingly. So here you can change your scale also, like you can see. It is uh, you can keep with your point zero five. Okay, so you remember uh, suppose you are going to publish for a paper for two 
two or three genes. So always try to keep this scale for uh, same for all the genes so that it is uh, uh, easily understand. The readers can easily understand what is the scale. The scale scale should be same for all the pictures. This way you can uh, easily change your pictures and uh, placement all these things. If you want to the this up, you can do it below or you can do it and automatic also you can keep. So these are the things uh, we can use for making good file identity tree. So there are other options also this length, translate you want to select or not. Okay. Then you want to select the value or not from here. You can play with it. Okay, what are the different options and what you want actually? It's needed or not. Select frequency you can select, site coverage you can select, percentage. So there are different options you want. Okay, so I hope this is uh, now clear. Now, another thing uh, is how to save this. Okay, now, okay, from these options also you can change your tree in different way. Uh, like this traditional tree one or car tree, or like that you can change. Okay. See in different manuscripts, it is a different, different style. You can make a few three like this also. Or you can simply go traditional one. This generally depends. Okay. So, how to save this tree? So, for saving this, you can see here image option is given. So, there are many options you can use for saving and uh, this PNG files or directly. In PDB files, you can save or BMP files you can use. Okay, so simply you can go to the uh, PNG and keep some name IGFALS1. Suppose so you have to select the folder you want to save the training. This is the folder you can select here. So now you can see you have uh, generated your publication quality arithmetic tree with scale. Okay, so you can change all these things. So now these figures you can use for your publication. So our this is our species, our target species we have sequence. This is catfish. So here you can see it is clustered with all the catfishes. Okay. So how to explain this? You can easily you can get it in any manuscript. You will review the article, so you will be able to uh, actually predict these pictures. Okay. Simply I can say here in this uh, in simple word. This is our target species that is one catfish. So it is clustered with all the other catfishes. Okay, so their distance is less. So it is uh, another catfish that is channel catfish. So it is closely related to one another. Closely related. Okay, so here these are the curves. So their distance is uh, placed or cladded. Okay, clustered, you can say, from our catfishes. So here we have two out group that is mouse and uh, human. So here you can see the distance is related from the cat pieces and we can say all that from all the pieces. So when you are making any phylogenetic tree with your target, you have to take some closely related species, some uh, distance related sense based on fish or fish, okay. And you have to pick some other vertebrates, okay, that are not fish, so, so they are called out group. So your then phylogenetic tree will be complete. So this way you have to make phylogenetic tree. So this video is about how to make phylogenetic tree using meta software. I hope it is clear. Thank you very much. So that's all for today.